This is a public service announcement. Please share this information widely because somebody may benefit from this information in terms of their health and safety. So if you or somebody you know has been prescribed the medication called Montelukast, also known as Singular, which is used for allergies as well as asthma, this medication since 2020 has had a black box warning from the FDA for potential serious neuropsychiatric events. I have talked about this previously, but the reason why I'm bringing up Montelukast again is because the New York Times published a really good article about this recently, and they put this figure up, which was really concerning to me. Montelukast was approved by the FDA in 1998, and the FDA's black box warning was put on the medication's label in 2020, yet the prescriptions have not changed at all since then. It's pretty much stayed about the same. There's more than 12 million people in the United States that have had at least one prescription filled for this medication. And so that makes me think that people may not understand that there's potential risks associated with this medication. Every doctor's experience with this medication has been different, but there was a study published fairly recently looking at the FDA's adverse event reporting system for this medication and people who were taking this medication were 30 times more likely to report abnormal behavior or aggression compared to those taking other medications and then there were other symptoms associated with this medication as well. In my personal experience, I have seen a handful of cases of children and adults reporting nightmares while taking this medication, getting really moody, angry, hyperactive, crying episodes that usually starts within the first couple of weeks of taking this medication. And all the patients that I have seen with those types of symptoms, when they stop the medication, those symptoms go away rather quickly. This is not specific medical advice, but in my personal experience, I don't use this medication as first line for allergies or asthma. It's more of a second or third line treatment if things are not working well for the patient, but I discuss these potential risks with them. And it's important that you talk with your doctor about potential risks and benefits of any medication or procedure that you're about to go through.